name's Steve, and I'd like to welcome you to my DVD on how to perform simple tricks and illusions that will amaze your friends and family. You'll see me demonstrating them to a group of kids at a recent workshop, and if they can do it, so can you. I also explain in close-up exactly how the tricks are done, but remember, the more you practice, the better you will be. Practice makes perfect. So have fun. Once you've mastered the tricks in this DVD, you'll be ready to perform a show of your own. But don't tell anyone how it's done. That's the secret between me and you. At the end, there are a few tricks that I haven't explained. Maybe you can work them out for yourself. Or maybe you'll have to wait for the next DVD. Enjoy yourself, practice hard, and one day you too may be making magic. So you hold your hand out, put the rope over the top of your hand, click the rope behind your little finger, that allows it to spread a bit. Okay? Tip your hand right over, these two fingers grip this rope just here, as low down as possible, and forget about the rest of the rope, it all drops off into a knot. So one more time, over your hand, bring your hand over, these two fingers grab that rope into that. The faster you do it, the more impressive it looks. So it's from there to that. If that's still too fast, we'll do it in slow motion. As you can see, the two fingers shoot down, grab the rope, and the rest of the rope drops off your hand, that creating the knot. Small one, one medium one, and one really long piece. You need the really long piece. Okay? You need the really long piece. Now, what I do need you to do is at this point you've got to stand up. Okay? Now, is everybody right handed or left handed? I'm right. Everybody's right handed. You're left handed. Right. Now, if you're right handed, Hold your right hand out like that. If you're left handed, hold your left hand out. Okay. What we're, gonna, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the rope over your hand like that. Just rest it on your hand. Like that, so it's on your hand. Get your little finger, put the rope behind your little finger. Okay? Like that. With quite a little bit hanging down on both sides. Lovely. Now, you turn your hand, facing the other way. Now to do this trick, the rope that's closest to you, these two fingers have to grab it like that. Okay? All we do is you, you grab the rope there and it drops into a knot. Those two fingers, well, can you do that? Those two fingers grab this rope that's hanging down just here. So we're like that. And what you've got to do is forget about the rest of the rope on your hand, and all we do is throw it on like that. How we do it? How we do it? Okay. So let's have a look. Like that. Bring it round. That scissor it with those fingers, and that drops off into that. Let me have a look round here. All right. And flat like this. Lovely. Bend that hand over. Those fingers grab that rope there, and that rope drops off into that. Yay. Right, okay. right, the bow. With the bow, what we do is I perform it on my fingertips. So I bring it together, tie a bow. Now, what we're going to do is you put your right hand out, put the rope over your hand, with the left hand, grip the rope the opposite way. You bring your left hand round, Put your fingers on top, sneak, grip it with your fingers, grip it with your other fingers, and all you're doing is just pulling those apart. Oh, I had a bit close. So from there to there, bring your fingers round, grip, and pull into a bow. There it is. So again, hold the rope with your right hand, the left hand the opposite way up, bring your left hand round, put your right fingers on top of your left fingers. Grip it with your fingers, grip the rope underneath with your fingers, and just pull apart into a bow. The finish for this trick, you reach through, take the two ends, pull it into a knot, and blow it.
and it disappears. So one more time, rope over your hand, grip the rope with the other hand, bring that hand round, place your fingers on top, scissor it with your fingers, scissor it underneath there and all we do is pull apart and there's a bow. After a bit of practice you can bring it down to get onto your fingertips like that. But it's just a matter of practice. The more you practice, the better it gets. So, from there to there. Now, I'll show you how to do it. You hold the rope like that. You bring it together, you tie a bow. Now, what you need to do is, like we did with the first one, hold your hand out flat. Hold your right hand out flat, put the rope on top. With your left hand, grab hold of the other side of the rope. Like that. Like this, switch up. And that's it. In the middle. In the middle. And that's it. We don't need it behind your finger this time. Okay. So we're like that. With your left hand, you turn your left hand upside down, hold it onto your rope, put your fingers straight. Put your right fingers on top of your left fingers. And grab the rope like you scissor it with them fingers there. And the rope that's hanging down, scissor it with the other fingers. And all you do is pull. Okay. How many of you bigger ones got this yet? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want to help each other if you just show each other how it's done? Okay. So we're like this with the little ones. Okay. Hold the rope with your hand like that. Grab it on top, that's it. Bring that hand round. No, the other hand, the other hand. The other hand. No, 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 no. Right, let's just grab that by there. Bring that hand round, fingers straight, then fingers on top of there. That way. Grab that with those fingers, scissor it. And this one underneath, look, scissor it with them. Well done! Hold on. And pull it apart. Oh, close. Close. Right. Grab them, that hand, that way. That's it. So we like that. Fingers round, fingers straight. Fingers on top like that. No, face down. Grab that with them fingers. No, no, no. Hang on a minute. Pull it round a bit. That's it with them fingers. That one with them fingers, like that. And just pull them apart. And oh, nearly, nearly. Fingers on top. So we just say. Uh, this fingers underneath to there. And just grip that and that. And pull it. And pull it and you've got to keep tight hold on that with them fingers. No, that's straight them fingers. Straight them fingers. Pull it apart. Wow, well done. Well, well done, girl. Okay. Oh. Hello. Hello. Yeah, bit, a bit closer. Right. Bring that hand round. Hand round. No. Bring that hand down. Right. Let me be just on top of there. Right. Right. Try and get your hands up. Right. 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 Now, there's a little finish to the bow. Once you've got to the bow bit, what you do is you reach through where your thumbs are and grab hold of the two ropes. You pull those back through gently and hold it in a knot like that. And when you want, you can just go and make it disappear. All right? So once you've got to that bow, to that bit there, where your thumbs are, reach through, grab the two ropes, gently bring them into a knot, and when you want, blow it, make it disappear. Okay. Well done. Well done. Right. Shall we move on to another trick? Yeah. Yeah. Now. Ready on the needle. You put the rope over your thumb, bring that round into a loop. Now you're telling people it's going through there. Now people believe what they're told. You're actually pulling the rope just up at the side of your thumb there. 
and it's that. So, when we do it with speed, it's there, you say it's going to go through there, and all you do is that. So you're pulling it up at the side of your thumb, into a loop, at the side of your thumb, up there, so it's that way, right, and it's into that. And that's threading the needle. As you can see, the rope goes over your thumb, we take it round into a loop, Take the rope that's nearest to you, and that is the rope you're going to tell people it goes through the middle. But in fact, we just pull it up to the side, as, as shown here. And as we perform it, what we do is just in one movement, straight up, and that clips into place, and you've threaded the needle. <laughs> Oh, oh, come on then, you come and do it with me. Come and do it with me. There you go. Stand there. So, over your thumb. Right? Round, make a loop. And then we take the... Oh, no. That's it, that side. And all we do is through there. Well done. Well done, you're going to sit down. Lovely. Have you got this? No? Right, over your, come and have a go. Over your thumb. Right, so we're to there, make a loop like that. We take this bit, and all we do, we don't straight it through there, watch carefully, that bit goes up at the side into that. And it's there. Okay, so let's do it again. Let's do it again. Right, oh, over your thumb. You ready? That bit. And all you do is slide it, pull it really fast up that bit. Well done, you've done it. Right, come on then, you have a go. We'll get there eventually. Here you go. Over your thumb like that. No, this hand. Over your thumb. Lovely. We'll make a loop. So all we're doing is make a loop up there. Hold that together. Watch carefully, watch what you're doing. Hold that together. Take this bit. And all we do is pull that up at the side of your thumb. Up at the side. Up there. Just pull it up. Just pull it straight. Pull it and bang. It's there. It's in the boat. Well done. All right. Are you having a go? Come on then. The small rope, medium rope, long rope trick. It's three pieces of rope. You can tell people a story as you bring up one, you bring up two, you bring up three ropes. You make them all the same size. You have one rope, two ropes, and three ropes. And people can't believe that they're just seeing three ropes going to a different size. You bring up the ends, so that's one, two, and three. You have a small rope, a medium rope, and a long rope. Now that was the very, very first magic trick I ever learned. To do it, you take the small rope, put it in your hand, the medium rope, put it in your hand. The long rope, put it in your hand. Now you need a fair amount sticking out because you've got to grab hold of it. The secret is to come round the back and get the little one. You bring that up and cross it over your long rope. So you've crossed the, the little ones there, you cross it over the long one. Then you bring up the other two ends to the side of the long end there. And what you do is you pull the rope down like that. Because your hand's in front like that, people cannot see that you've just looped it. Now to, fin to do this, where you take them out, you take the middle one out to there. You do a switch, that one goes back in, and you take the other two in one action to there. And then you lift the third one as well. So when we're performing it, oops, Small rope, medium rope, long rope. Bring up the ends. One, two, three. Take the ends, all the same size. One rope that's one size, two ropes that's one size, and three ropes that's one size. Bring up all the ends again. So that's one, two, three. Again, small rope, medium rope. Finally, a long rope. And that's the three rope trick.
This, you need all three pieces of rope. All three pieces of rope. So you need your small piece, your medium piece, and your long piece. You hold all three ropes in your hand like this, watch. Small rope, medium rope, long rope. We bring up all the ends from round, well, you go round the back. Look, you go reach right round the back and get the small one and bring the small one up, cross it over the big one. Right? Then we bring up the medium one and then we bring up the long one. And we've got all the ends in, in your hand like that, you just pull them and you make them all the same size. Okay? So what it looks like is this, you've got one, two, three pieces of rope, you bring up all the ends, you bring up one end, you bring up two ends, and you bring up three ends, when you've got all the ends like that, you pull them, you make them all the same size. And at that bit you can take out one rope, two ropes, and three ropes. That's well, all the same size. Okay, there we go. What we'll do, hold your hand out like that. we we'll pull that rope in there, right? Then the medium one, just watch carefully, right? And then the long one. I'll we'll put them all in your hand like that. So one, two, three ropes. You reach round the back, that's this way, and get the small one. Get this small one just here. No, this side. Go this side, reach right round and grab that rope. Bring that one up and cross it over the big one. Like that. So we cross it over. Then we bring up this end. See this end? Put this just at the side of that one. Just there. And grip your fingers together. So we hold all the ropes. This is very awkward. And the last one to there. Then take hold of them three. Of those three with that hand. Right? And grip that with them hands. And pull. And you've got all three ropes the same size. Well done. Now, putting uh, two knots on a rope, you hold the rope under your thumb. Like that. To loop the rope, uh, just bring it up, slide that in the middle, and put your fingers through there. Bring it up into a twist, and fingers through there. Now this, put your thumb on the rope there, and as you take the rest of the rope off your hand, that passes underneath to there. And all you do is you've got two knots on a piece of rope. So as you perform this, you say to people, piece of rope, we put one loop on, put two loops on, take the rope off, and we end up with two knots. So once again, you take the rope, hold it with your thumb, between your thumb and fingers, Twist it round into a loop, twist again, another loop, secret, that thumb, put on the rope, as you take the rest of the rope off, push that rope through where your thumb is, grab hold of that rope and just slide your hand down. Right, the long rope again, so put all the other ropes away and just keep hold of your long rope. Right, what we're going to do is you're going to take the rope in your hand, put a loop on your hand, one, two, when you take this off, all you do is blow on it and you end up with two knots. Right. You got this? Come here. Can you go and do it up there? Well, you want to do it over there? Okay. Do it. Ooh, there you go. 
Right. So, undo the knot. Put it over your right hand. Right hand. We make a loop by doing a twist like that. So you've got to twist it, put it on your hand. No, 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 they go like it. We do another loop with a twist, like that, onto there. Right. This bit goes underneath there, like that. Take that off. Take it all off now. And slide your hand down the rope. And you've got two knots. Well done. Lovely. So, have you not got it? Can you do it? Come here. No. Right. So, you haven't done it. Hey, come here. Hold your hand out like that. Right. We'll put a little twist on, like that. Twist, one twist. Ready? And two twists, that there. Push them fingers through there. This bit, we stick through that, that bit up, as we take that off. So we need to pull that through and hold that bit with that hand. Lovely. Take those thumbs out, fingers out. And all you do is get your hand and slide it right down. Well done. Good oh boy. We're going to tie a knot on a rope without letting go of the ends. What you need to do is hold the rope with two hands by the end, the long rope. Brandy? Yeah. Hold the rope. Right. Now, tell you what, you come here because you, you need to stand at the side of me to see this one. Right? Over your right arm like that. Keeping hold of the end of the rope, bring your hand round and go through this loop, through there. And then back through this bit, that hand back through there. So we end up, keep hold of that with that hand, and we'll pull that round there. Lovely. We end up with that. Now what we do is keeping hold of these two ends of the rope, you throw the rest of the rope off your hands, and you end up with a knot. Hmm. See, that's where we went wrong, isn't it? Okay. Right? Can I show you the secret? Right? Watch. We get to that bit. So over your, over your right arm, through the loop, Back through that bit, back through here. Oh, no, you didn't go through the loop. Through that bit, through there. Oops, take my rope. Through there, and back through this bit. It's like a tiny cell phone. There we go. Right? Now, this, the secret is, watch, to get that on the ends, to there. You have to hold the, get them right on your fingers. Hold these fingers straight. See this rope under here? That one. What you do is when you push your hands down, you grab that with them fingers and let go of that little bit, right? And as that comes off and that comes off, you end up with a knot. Okay, so all you do is down like that, grab that rope, let go of it with your thumb, and you're to there. Okay? Well done. Do you want to undo your knot? Tying a knot on a rope without letting go of the ends. What we need to do is you go over your left arm, Right, come through into the loop there, and then this bit just here, bring your hand back through there. So you get the rope onto your hands like that. Now, the, you tell people to do this at the same time as yourself, right, and they will always end up without a knot. Okay, now get back to that position. The secret is. As you pass your hands down and throw the rope off your hands, you grab hold of that rope there, that's just underneath, with them fingers, and let go of this between your finger and thumb. So in fact you go in like that, tying the knot. And people, it's virtually impossible to see. As you do it at the same time as them, you're doing that. It's virtually impossible to see the, the, the switch and you end up with a knot. Now you can actually do a finish to this if people keep not getting a knot, you keep saying right what you're doing wrong is to take the left hand out fast at first now if you take your left hand out first and pull that tight you end up with a knot. You can take your right hand out, keep it over the end and pull it into a knot like that. Then you take the knot and just slide your hand down and you can make that disappear. 
So you perform a slip knot and make it disappear. So once again that one is we get into that position with the ropes. If you take your left hand out first, pull it tight, bring it into a knot, switch over hands, slide your hand right down, you can make the knot disappear. That's that. Now, do, do the original one. The original, okay. I want to do it in close-up. Okay. So if you could just slow it. Right, so what we'll do is over your left arm, put your hand through the loop and then back through this loop just here. So it's there. We end up with a rope like that. The secret is we're going to pass the, the hand down and we grab hold of that rope there with those fingers and let go of this bit, keeping hold of this one with this hand. All right. So you pull it into a knot. And at speed, of course, you get into that position, people can't see it, and it's just that. A knot. The chopstick trick, I call it chopstick trick. It, it's a, a classic trick people do. What you do is you, you put your thumb, or your, the chopstick, under your thumbs, okay, hands together. You get it from the top to the bottom without taking your thumbs off. Okay, one more time. From the top to the bottom without taking your thumbs off. Now to do this, the secret is putting your thumb over your fingers. As you push your hand down, the chopstick comes round to this, these fingers here. Pull it round and slide it round to there. So in actual fact, the, the action is just that. Just getting your thumbs together like that. That is the action of doing the chopstick trick. All you're placing is either a chopstick, a pencil, anything that's straight in your fingers from there to there. And it's a great little wind up. So from there to there. Yes. Right, so come and stand aside of me. It's easier that you can see this way, you see. Okay, so hands like that. Right, put your thumb over your fingers. You put your thumb over your fingers like that. Right, and push that hand down. Push that hand down like that. Right. And as we do, grab that bit with them fingers. Let that thumb slide round. Pull it round, pull it round, pull it round, pull it round. No, no, pull that bit and let that thumb slide. And this bit goes underneath there. See that bit? So there. Okay, let's have a look. Let's need that. Are you ready? Oh, we'll start there. Hands together like that. Good girl. Under your thumbs. No, no, no. That's it. Under your thumbs. Push your hand down. All right. I've got to have that thumb under your fingers. Push it down. Push it down. Pull that round. Pull it round to nearly there. There. That was fairly close. Good girl. All right. Do you want to, if you sit down, let's see how you've done. Have you got it? Right. Let's have a look here. From there, thumb over your fingers, push that hand down, grab that bit with them fingers, pull it round, slide it, slide them thumbs, don't grip them thumbs together, just slide the hand just round, no? keep it from on there, slide it round to there, watch, like that, what are you doing basically, all you're doing in this action is like, with your thumbs wide open, you're sliding them together like that, okay, and that's all we're doing. So from there to there. Nearly. From there. Thumb over your fingers, push it down, grip it, grip it, pull it down, pull it down. To there. Done. Well done. They're in my pocket. Now watch carefully, we've got a solid chain. Can you hold your finger up like that? Can you put your finger in the air like that? Yeah, like you do when you pick your nose. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm do that, no. no. So keep your finger straight like that. I'm going to put this chain on your finger, right? And what we're going to do, we're going to take this chain, keep your finger pressed against my finger, don't let that chain escape, right? Can you blow on it? Blow. Good girl. And we take the chain off like that, we've got the finger still on my finger. 
Well done. Right, if you just hold your finger up, what we'll do is place a chain on your finger. Right? And all we're going to do is take this chain, keep your finger pressed against my finger, we remove the chain while the finger's still pressed on. Okay? Now to do this, what you do is put three fingers underneath. Okay, that's on your finger. Twist the chain upside down, your middle finger in there. Bring it round, this middle finger on this hand, into that gap. Bring it round onto there. Just put that on your hand for safety and just take it off. So once again, hold your finger up. Right, twist it, middle finger in this big gap here. Bring it round. The other middle finger in the gap nearest to their finger, bring it round, place your, your middle finger from your, if you are the left or right handed, from the hand at the back, onto that finger, keep it pressed there, and just take the chain clean off like that. And it's as simple as that. It's got a good memory. You've got a good memory. Come here, I'll test your memory. Right? Here we've got two dice. And on these dice, where is it? There, two kings. Okay? So two kings on top of the dice. We turn the dice over, a jack and a ten. Turn it back to two kings. Can you remember what's on the other side? Wrong, two queens. A little trick with dice, they're a lovely little trick with dice. Now this, I use poker dice because people don't relate to the number sequence of dice if you use pictures. Now I've got a king and a king on top of the dice. What you're doing is you're showing people there's two kings on top of the dice. You turn the dice over, there's a jack and a ten. You turn it back, there's two kings. All right? A quick click of the fingers, you turn it over. There's two queens. Now, it's really easy. What you do is you get two dice. It, I, if I'm using normal dice, I use two twos at the top, which allows you the fives underneath. This, two kings. As I turn my hand over in that action, I just go like that. <laughs> you just twist it. Right? Because your hand's moving at the same time, they can't see it. So you show, and also the fact that I do the trick at the beginning, people always wait for a trick at the end. So you do the two kings, show the trick's done there, okay, jack and a ten, turn it back to two kings, then you can take your time and just show them they don't see any trick whatsoever. Show them the two queens. It's just a little throwaway gimmick. <coughs> it is. There's uh, the chain one. Put your finger and thumb on your opposite corpse and make them apart. Finger and thumb on your opposite corpse and take them apart. Interesting. It is interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Hang on a minute, hang on. Finger and thumb on your opposite corpse and take them apart. We stood here quite a while. It could have been, wasn't it? Quite a while. Yeah. Well, I think they've got the Christmas but it is, decorations. Yeah, it's a, it's, 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 a, it's a great party trick, though. It's a great party trick. Yeah, it is. Hello. Right. I'll tell you what, I'm going to talk you through this. I'll talk you through this. Yeah. Right? Get your right thumb. Put your right thumb on top of your left core. Your right finger on top. Notice how your left thumb's this side. Put your left thumb yeah. on, this, on this end of the core. Yeah. And bring ah. your fingers underneath to there. Twist your hands round. Any of the fingers to there. Can you take them? Oh. 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 Right. Very good.
two wine corks. This is great for adults, for kids you can either use Lego blocks, anything that's roughly that shape. Okay, you put one cork in your hand and two corks in your hand. It works better if you're working with somebody else and you actually give them the props at the same time and you tell them to put the fingers on the, the corks and take them apart. Now they will always go like that. They'll never, never do it unless they know the secret. So you put the thumbs on your corks, take them apart. The secret is you put your right thumb on the bottom of your left cork, right finger on top. Notice how your left thumb is automatically through to the other end. Put it on that end. And all you do is bring these fingers here underneath to there and just take it out. Okay? So right thumb on. Right finger on top, left thumb to this end, fingers underneath here to there, and just take it out. Keep your hands moving, people don't see it. Simple as that. Hello. Look, tell me when, I want to flick through the cars, tell me when to stop. No, before I get to the end. Okay. Bit quicker, bit quicker. Okay, take your top card, you look at it, don't show me. Alright, don't show me. Put it back on top of the pack. You can show everybody, show everybody what it is. Not me. I'll close my eyes. Put it back on top of the pack. Right? And we'll put your cards there, isn't it? Your cards there, we'll put it there. Okay. So there we go. Can you just blow on the cards? That's brilliant. Look at that. Your top card. Take it. Is that your card? Yeah, hey, isn't that amazing? Well, well, how do you do it? How do you do it? <laughs> right, and what we do? Th these these aren't special cards. It's just that they're purple, which is I like the, like the colour. Okay, so you've got a, a normal pack of cards. Okay, you shuffle the cards. What we're going to do is a ripple shuffle. We take the cards, we shuffle the cards. Oh, we'll try again. Yeah. You do a ripple shuffle. While we, we, what we're going to do now is deal out two sets of cards. Any time you like, you tell me when to stop. Stop. There you go. Now if you take one set, I take one set. Don't look at the cards, just do what I do. Deal out two sets of cards until they've all gone. Right, now I'm going to tell you what's on the top of those four packs. You've just dealt out two sets. I've dealt out two sets. Okay. Now, most card games, if we're playing for money, if I have a full set of aces, I win. Not every card game, but most card games. So I think for £5... I'm kidding. <laughs> I think there's an ace on the top of each one of those. Do you want to turn over your top cards? So that's one ace. Two aces. On here, three aces and four aces. And if we take the aces away, so that's one, two, three, and four, and turn over the rest of the cards, you can see there are no more aces in the pack. Four aces. Pack of cards, all different cards. What we're going to, I want to flick through the cards. You tell me when to stop before I get to the end of the pack. Stop. Okay. You take your top card. You look at it. Don't show every. Well, don't show me, but you show everybody else. All right. Put it back in the pack. Leave it sticking out. We'll put the cards on top. So your card's there. Okay. I'll take a card. Put your hand over the card. Cover the card. Cover the card. Make sure it's really covered. Put the cards on top of your hand. I'm going to flick the cards like that. That card has travelled through your hand to the bottom. Uh, your card is not in this pack. You have a look at that. Is that your card? Amazing. How's that right. go? Okay, what we've got here is a pocket version of, of a classic trick. We've got three cups, three balls. Okay, these are little shot cups. So, 
all we do is take one cup, turn it upside down, take two cups, turn it upside down, three cups, turn them upside down. We place one ball on top of the centre cup, right, cover with the other two cups, a quick click of the fingers, the ball goes through. We'll do that again, so you go one, you go two, you go three, put the ball on top, cover, click your fingers, you've got two balls. We'll do it one more time, one, two, and three. Stay. Cover. Again, quick click of the fingers. They've all disappeared. <laughs> oh, they're, they're all there. Got three balls. One, two, three. Uh, dropped on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Cups and balls. Alright, right, okay. here's a little trick again with rope because using rope everybody has a piece of rope around. Now this is a trick that I made up earlier. You've got three rings of rope. What you do is you get these rings of rope, you put them together, blow, and they join up. Okay, so that's one. And another one, blow, and that's two. So you've got three rings of rope. All we do is take them, to, take them apart, blow, Again, below, and you've got one, two, three rings of rope, like that. Maybe I'll show you this one next time. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have great fun winding people up. Right? Don't tell them how it's done. Okay? You never know. I might be back showing you some more. <laughs>